Hey, why do atheists pray? Uh, I was thinking about that <laughs> 2004 study. What was it? 30% of atheists said they prayed sometimes. And this other study, 17% said that they pray like regularly. Hey, I checked the non-believer in God box, but pray regularly. Um, what do you think that's about? I have an idea. <laughs> Maybe mental health. I mean, there's there's been some studies that show that praying is really good for you. It's very healthy for you. And because um, it it sounded like you were saying no, they're just they're mentally <laughs> <laughs> unhealthy. But you're saying actually, all of us are mentally unhealthy. <laughs> all of, that is obviously true. But I some more saying, than others. <laughs> some more than others. As a just as a practice, how does how does a human process their thoughts and their inner world that spins? We all have experienced moments when our brain felt like it was spinning, you know. Mm -hmm. And there's times in life, there's things in life, um, just a busyness of life, you know, hard decisions, stressful times, anxious thoughts. That how do you organize those? Uh, you know, sometimes I'll get up in the middle of the night and write out a list of things because it helps organize my mind. Mm -hmm. But praying, praying, has a been list of things, to have sure. health benefits that I'm thinking about, worried about, anxious about. Mm -hmm. So, as a Christian, it's kind of obvious to then, if I've got a list of concerns, to just pray about them. Um, but I think it's obvious to many people that there's health benefits from organizing your thought world, mm -hmm. and praying is a way of engaging that and it's also a way of sometimes being artistic mm -hmm. you know there's things that you might say in prayer that you might put in a way that sound a little more poetic they, they might sound a little deeper where if you said it that way to a friend they'd be like you know what's got a hold of you today <laughs> what's right. going right. on today right it could be that there's a you know there's definitions these words are are slippery sometimes like mm -hmm. what do you mean when you say prayer what do you mean when you say you know, if you're an atheist, what what do you, what is the concept of God that you've rejected? You know what I mean. So some people, I think, are like maybe rejecting a Christian view of God, or saying, "I don't believe in a you know a guy with a white beard that you know punishes me when I do bad." You know what I mean? Like, might be rejecting a specific um, portrait of God, but not necessarily rejecting the entire idea of God.